Hey YouTube, what's going on? In today's video, we're gonna talk about wheel offset. Wheel offset is probably one of the most important things to consider when you're buying new wheels for your car. A lot of times when you buy new wheels, you're buying wider wheels, you know, whether it's for aesthetics, just to fill up the wheel well, or if you're trying to get more performance out of your car, you know, a wider contact grip with the road. Uh, also, if the tire's sticking out a little bit further, you'll get uh, more stability out of the car, a little better control. So there's a lot of reasons to get wider tires. And uh, you know, knowing where the offset is and how it fits inside your wheel well, you know, making sure that it doesn't hit that inside uh, suspension and the outside fender. Um, so we'll go ahead and explain what offset is and what and how to measure it. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to go ahead and cover is what is offset. Offset is going to be your relation between the center point of your wheel and the mounting hub. This mounting hub right here. Uh, related to the center point okay so to find the center point let's say you have like a 10 inch wheel you're gonna divide that by two and get five if you have an eight inch wheel it's gonna be divided by two four inch so you find that center point and that's gonna be kind of like your anchor to determine what the offset is now the mounting hub where it's located is actually what's gonna determine the offset in relation to the center point okay so if you have this center line right here and you have your mounting hub directly in line with it that's an offset of zero, you have zero offset. But as soon as you move this mounting hub in either direction, either toward the face of the rim or to the rear of the rim, it's gonna to start to create either a positive or negative offset. So for example, as soon as we start moving this mounting hub toward the face of the rim, it's gonna to start to create a positive offset. So if we move it five millimeters toward the face, that's gonna be a plus five offset, okay? Now with your positive offset rims, it's going to be flush with the face of the rim, okay? Uh, it'll, it'll just have that, that general appearance where it's nice and flush, and that's going to generally be your, your positive offset. Most wheels are, are going to have a positive offset, okay? So as opposed to that, it's going to be negative offset. So starting from the center point, if this mounting hub is more toward the rear of the rim, that's going to create a negative offset, and, and those rims will have the appearance of like that deep dish look. Um, the only thing I can kind of really think about, I don't know if you're familiar with like RWB uh, Porsche. He puts extremely wide fenders in the back of the Porsche and he runs extremely negative offset wheels that have that really deep dish. And that's, you know, pretty much the example I got. Um, so yeah, so that's how you measure the, the offset and determine what the offset's gonna be, either positive or negative. Okay, so now that we've covered what offset actually is, we'll show you how to measure it. Now, if you're lucky, your wheels will have either a stamp or like a sticker that will tell you what the measurement is and what the offset is on the back of your rim. Uh, if you don't have that, then all you'll need is a straight edge like this to rest across the back of the rim and a tape measure. Now, the two measurements you're gonna need to take is the overall width of the rim and then what's called the back spacing, which is the measurement from the back of the rim to the uh, mounting hub. Now, the first measurement is the total width and all you're looking for is that center point. So you're gonna take that overall width Divide it by two, find your center point. Now the next measurement is what's actually gonna determine your offset. From the back here to your mounting hub, if the number is greater than that half point, then you have a positive offset. If that number is less than that uh, half point, then you have a negative offset. Uh, I'll go ahead and add in the description below a, a step by step in words so that you guys can follow that and find the measurement uh, for your back spacing and your offset. I also put together this little chart, which I'll show. Let me see. And it shows your wheel width and your back spacing measurement, and it shows you what your offset's gonna be. So for this video, we were able to talk about what wheel offset is, how to measure it. Um, like I said, I'll add the step-by-step -step measurement uh, details in the, in the description below. Um, you know, as you, as you move forward trying to build your car and you're trying to find the right, right setup and the right look that you're going for, uh, the biggest thing I can recommend is to go on forums or if you see somebody that has the style that you're looking for, is to ask them what setup they have. You know, let their trials be uh, a benefit to you. You know, moving forward so that you have an idea of you know what direction to go, what offsets and things like that. Just because every car is different, it's hard to sit here and tell you what to run on your car just because everything's different. Um, you know, as you have a more positive offset, it's gonna, the, the extended width is gonna go more toward the suspension, and a negative offset, the extended width is gonna go more toward the fender. 
Um, also, you got to factor in the tires. You see on this car, the tires are a little bit stretched to actually fit inside the wheel well. So it's, it's really a lot of work to try and figure out what setup is right for you. But that's basically it. If you guys have any questions on this, just add them in the comments below. Um, don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for the channel. Uh, we're nearing the end of chapter one on this journey, going over wheels and tires and the basics. Uh, next, we're gonna move into suspensions. We'll talk uh, about you know different components with that, and uh, we'll just keep building from there. So thank you guys, like always, for uh, watching this video. I'll see you next time.